line Too scared to trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own Twenty-nine years I've been the same Trying so hard to run from shame But how long can I keep up the pace To fool myself I don't need grace mm. It's crazy how much Belle loves you and she has been running around the porch like a mad woman trying to find you. <laughs> She's so insanely in love with you, it's not even funny. She's like, I love you. I'm going to lick myself next to you now. <laughs> I bet you she'd like run miles to find you. I don't know what she's gonna do when I go to camp. I know, she's gonna freak out when you go to camp. <laughs> we'll, we'll drive, we'll take her with us when we drive so she can say goodbye to you. And then you'll go to camp and then I'll keep her and she'll just have to snuggle with me until you get back. Two weeks is a long time for a pup. She's gonna be sad. Guys, this is so exciting. This um, gentleman does, he's a beekeeper and he's come to install a beehive on our property. We looked at a hive. What was that hive called that I wanted to get? Flow hive. The flow hive? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want one of those. Um, they, the problem with flow hive up north here is that uh, when they, Help uh, things him? get um, cold in the wintertime, that plastic that's inside of them, um, they, the bees make something called propolis, and I'll show you what that is. And I intentionally brought a couple pieces of equipment that need to be cleaned up. Langstroth uh, was this minister a long time ago, back like 150 years ago, that figured out how big of a space bees like to have. And so these are called Langstroth hive because oh. everything is made so that there's about three-eighths of an inch of space. If it's much less than a quarter of, a, of an inch, they'll actually fill it with bee glue. And if there's more than half an inch, they'll build wax in. <laughs> this is so exciting to me. I'm like giddy. Right? It is cool. She likes to cool it. Okay. Then this is called your bottom board. Okay. And this is a solid bottom board. There are also screen bottom boards. This is propolis right here. <laughs> this people actually pay for propolis. Yeah, so okay. I can remember. <laughs> yeah, we won't open the bees for a little bit yet. So they don't really need this, okay. but um, it so just... So they would build their own if it wasn't there. Yeah, in fact, I brought some that they that they will do that. Cool. Um, but they don't really need the guides. They okay. know how to make hexagons right. all without us. Um, this is, I don't know why it's actually even that way. I guess it just makes people happier to see hexagons. <laughs> um, okay. But there are people, again, you know, if you, the, the story is if you ask six beekeepers a question, you'll get seven answers. Great. Um, this is lightly waxed so that they'll want to join it, but this is brand new and this has okay. been in a hive once. Okay. Uh, so the bees don't care if there were other bees. No, in fact, they like it better if there were. Oh. Okay. So here, what I did is I put a starter strip in. Okay. And now what they'll do is they'll build this fold. Oh, cool. And then if you want comb honey, we can actually just cut out chunks of comb honey. <laughs> they've, they've laid brood babies in here. Okay. And just like a, with a... Um, uh, a, a butterfly or a, mm. or a moth, right. they make a little cocoon. So okay. the queen lays an egg, mm -hmm. three days later it hatches. Oh, wow. That um, fast? Yeah. And so she lays an egg once they build it out, and I'll show you the, the build out stuff, um, and I'll show you the queen. But cool. um, So she'll lay an egg in here, and then um, three days later it hatches, and they feed it for six days. Wow. After six days, they, it uh, spins a cocoon, essentially, and they, and they cap it over. Twelve days later, that hatches out into a bee. 
Wow. For about the first two weeks or so of her life, she um, works in the hive. Are they all, all female? Uh, most, about 90% plus are going to be females. Wow. The males, they actually make a little bit bigger um, cells than this. And cool. they, strangely enough, they take longer to hatch out. They take a total of 25 days instead of 12, instead of 21 days. <laughs> so I'm not going to scrape all that out because I like to leave some propolis in there. Okay. They like the smell of it. And anytime they walk across it, it's antimicrobial. Oh, awesome. Um, and it might not, not always be smoking that hard. Right. Um, but if you make sure that, um, you know, uh, you don't want to get halfway through mm -hmm. your time in the hive and say, oh man, they're getting a little testy. I need to smoke them and go over and go nothing's coming out and then you have to walk away from the hive and they're all that time they're not really happy right. um this is a hook that you can use to lift your things oh. used, i used to just do that with those um, but i kind of like this because you lift it you stick it under the arm and wedge. that's actually very fashionable is it very fashionable put the hood up once i want to see how gangster it is <laughs> We don't need to add any more than this one box right now. They could okay. probably, in fact, not even have this box. Okay. But because it's June, mm -hmm. and June, oh, sorry, did you want to? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Okay. I was um, just watching them be cool. <laughs> so when you set this down, I saw that there was nobody on the edges, but a lot of times if you set them down kind of like this, uh -huh. you can kind of move it back and then and just forth. slide it. Yeah, because right now what they're doing, you see how they're kind of buzzing around the front, what they're right. doing is orienting themselves. Oh, okay. They're learning where their hive is. That's awesome. And then we'll put this so flat what... side down. This is the inner cover. Okay. Now remember the, the propolis, they'll glue that inner cover to this. To it. So you have um, to break it free so when you want to look? Free. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's much easier than this is from the telescope in your outer cover. Okay. And so now they won't ever glue this down. Okay. But you notice how this does not have a piece on it. Mm -hmm. So they can actually come and go from here in addition to coming and going from down So there. from top or bottom. Yeah. So cool. depending on who the bees are, mm -hmm. um, and it really varies. Um, I have a friend who his bees only use the top entrance. It's really a fat queen. She's been doing really, really well. Uh, she's laying a lot of eggs, one to two thousand eggs a day. Okay. Yeah, there are probably eight thousand bees in here. Okay. Um, so she's laying eggs. I've had nightmares about this. You've had nightmares about this? <laughs> a thousand so bees. A, here's a bee. There are a couple bees right, right there. So if I, you know, a couple things you can just actually. I wanted to come back out today just to see how the bees are adapting. So I'm just going to go take a look-see at them. I'm not going to get too close because I don't have a bee suit with me, but I just want to take a quick view. So 
So there's our hive. And it looks like there's some ants on there. And bees are coming in and out, which is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna mess with them or go any closer, but it's pretty, pretty cool that they're doing their thing. <laughs>